Hello everyone, I hope all is well. So today I want to go over the area of a parallelogram in which we need to use some trig. So here's a example. It says find the area of a parallelogram with the side lengths of 10 and 6 inches and whose acute angle is 52 degrees. So first of all, when it says side lengths of 10 and 6, so we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent and if it says the side lengths of 10 and 6 that's how we can label this particular parallelogram then it says the acute angle is 52 degrees so while we can't necessarily judge things to size we can assume in this case that the angles that look acute are the ones that are acute. So if it says the acute angle is 52 degrees, we can assume that this is the angle we're talking about, right? And we don't necessarily need it, but we also know that the opposite angle here is 52 degrees, right? That's just one of the properties of a parallelogram that we know that opposite angles are congruent. Okay, so now if we're looking for the area the area of a parallelogram, the formula is base times height. So remember the key for calling things base and height is that they have to be perpendicular to one another. So for example, right now, I can't just do 10 times six because 10 and six are not perpendicular to one another, right? This is an angle of 52, not 90. So what we can do is call this base of 10, the base, and then we can find the height by dropping down a length that is perpendicular to that base and calling it h for height, right? Now if I find this h for height, then I can use this as the base, this as the height, and then calculate the area. So here's where trig's gonna come into play. So if you notice, since I dropped that length perpendicular, we have a right triangle here. So let's redraw that. So this is 52 degrees. Right, this is a right angle, this is our height, we know this is 6. Right, This whole length is 10, we don't necessarily know what this part of the right triangle is, so we can't really label it. Right, So now think about Sokotoa, which is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about trig. So, according to this angle, 52, we have the opposite, which is h, and the hypotenuse, which is 6 which means we're going to use so, the so part of Sokotoa. So sine of 52 is equal to opposite, which is h, over hypotenuse, which is 6. All right, and then to solve for h, do some algebra, we can multiply both sides by 6. So that the 6 is canceled. You get h equals 6 sine 52. Okay, so type that into your calculator. Do not forget, this is a big thing here. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode and not radians. So H is about 4.728. All right, so while it does say it around to the 10th, Remember, we want to keep as many decimal places as we can until the very end. So now, final step is to plug this in your area formula. Base, we established to be 10. Height, now that we found the thing perpendicular to that base, we can now use that as our height. So then see what we get here. And then round 
to the tenth. So we get 47.28, so I'm going to call it 47.3. And since it's inches, and we're talking about area, it would be inches squared for the unit. Again, hope all is well. Reach out if any questions.